Alright then, let's move on. Maybe there's a skeleton over there. Ha ha! Taste the. the hey! My axe! Ah! Um, crap. Alright, you demon. Alright, but let's use these. No, that, that, that didn't work. I have a giant menu screen in my face! Alright, we gotta do something. Oh, we have the halberd equipped. Alright, there we go. None of that worked! Stupid axe. It betrayed me! Get back here, you bone guardian scum creature. Rawr. Well, that was... That was unhelpful, stupid axe. Piece of junk. Anyway, I believe we can go this way now. No! I don't want it! There we go. <clears throat> Let's use the key here. Wait, this is the corpse of Belial? Corpse of the God? His corpse is displayed here not as a trophy, but as a warning. Oh, a warning. Yeah, I'm sure. Whoa! Ah, we fell. That didn't work. Yes, I would like to reload the last game. <laughs> All right, so uh, Belial's corpse still deadly and dangerous. It will. Suck you in with a magnetic pull and make you fall to your death in the bottomless pit below it. Why doesn't this work? This thing should work. Ow! Ow! That really hurt. Forgot to mention, getting hit from behind does more damage. Ah! Taste the axe! Taste its fury! Yes, that's right. Run away, you coward. Well, that was entertaining. Let's go mess around with Belial's corpse again. <clears throat> Alright, let's not jump into the pit below it. Hello, Belial's corpse. Poke, 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 poke. Touch, 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 touch. Nah! What the heck was that? Alright, I don't know about you friends, but I heard Belial's voice. I am not yet finished. Cripes, we're all gonna die. Dead gods coming back to life. Or seek revenge. That floating sword. I'm sure nothing bad can come from this. This is the sword of Thohan the Brave. Greatest warrior? Thohan. Whatever. I'm jacking his sword. It's broken! Psh, that's not gonna help. Piece of junk. Oh well. I'll keep it like the pack rat that I am. Alright, let's get on here. Oh, what's this? The diorama in this room shows the end of the city of the ancients. The end of the city of the ancients. It is a beautiful city. Okay. So I guess the city of the ancients sank when the ancients left. And that's right, they're called ancients, not gods. I think I called them gods earlier. So let's jack this sword. Long sword prism. Really increases our attack power. <clears throat> we do lose the uh, benefit of the range of the axe of the long arm. But the, the long sword prism is just so much better. Plus, it's a magical sword, being that it's prism, it's a, uh, it refracts light, and will occasionally cast the blind spell on your enemies while you're beating them to death with it, which will level up your magic at the same time and uh, will actually blind some enemies. So, makes it pretty convenient. Recorded incidents? Looks like a rock. Huh. So they're created... This particular stone is the first such recording made. Oh, this is the first one. 
Right, so these stones were created back when, uh, in the last days of Belial and the Dracoids. Let's watch it here. Well, how will we know what images are captured if we don't control it? That's just the point. This is a history project, not entertainment. Even now, the Emperor is rewriting the runes to pretend this war never happened. Huh. If we place these speaking stones about, they will record an accurate account of these troubled times. Be careful not to touch that timer button. This button? <laughs> well, anyway, the speaking stones were scattered about by that scholar or whatever he was, the historian, who wanted an accurate representation of the draconian history. I guess the emperor was, uh, having the runes or the history rewritten to pretend uh, some war or another didn't happen. I don't know what war they're talking about, but it must be, uh, must have been part of that civilization that they tried to erase when Belial died. Richard, got some pictures here. Oh, so this is the king. The king. The, the what the shard? Together, these two mortal magic artifacts stand as the ultimate guardians against the falsehoods of all magic. The falsehoods of all magic? If he's so keen on detecting falsehoods, why does he think me guilty? <laughs> I don't know, Luther. I don't know. So that was a lot of mumbo jumbo to me. Predatory Ruloi. They were able to accumulate much of the ancient magic that had been left behind in the land. So they're basically a creature that, like, just brings together ancient magic. Yeah, the magic of the ancients still exists in various forms, one form or another. Uh, in fact, we already have one of those forms, which the little one there shows that we have one charge of ancient magic, so... Ah, this is Scotia. She was the first mortal in 18 centuries to gain control of a major ancient magic artifact. Huh. The danger of allowing mortal control of such objects was again clearly demonstrated. So she... Scotia and many others paid with their lives for this folly. She gained control of some magical artifact. No, mother. Dear mother. Where did we go so wrong? I don't know. Alright, is that Gladstone? This is not, as it may appear, an illustration from Gladstone's past. Really? This image is taken from the possibilities of the future. Well, that's foreboding. So I guess Gladstone could be nothing more than a ruin in the future. Ah, here's Kieran. He is often credited with the slaying of Scotia after she abused the power of the Yes, canonically Kieran kills Scotia. Hmm. What do you say to the man who killed your mother? Uh, I don't know. But so in the first game you could pick like four characters to fight with. Or to use as your character, I guess. And he uh canonically he's the one who kills Scotia. So who the heck is this guy? This is Thohan the Brave. Oh, that's Thohan? Greatest warrior? He kind of looks like a douche. The broken pieces of his sword are on display elsewhere. <laughs> no, they're not. We have them. Gladstone's legend confirms that the next champion of Gladstone will wield the same blade. Champion Gladstone? Ha. Huh. Even should I ignore my wrongs at the hands of Jeron, forgive their slurs, and find within me a desire to fight for Gladstone, I doubt a broken sword would fill my needs. You're probably right, Luther. And the eyes of that guy are creeping me out. I swear, no matter which way I move, he's looking at me. Alright, last picture. There you go. That's the city of the ancients. That's uh, the one that sank into the ocean after the ancients left. It's actually pretty cool looking. So, 
Let's mess around with some chandeliers. Why? Because we can. Ha ha ha! The power! Ah, oh, that is just a great line. <laughs> Nothing better than fighting some chandeliers.